Welcome to Tabletop CP. Tonight we're going to be continuing our pint size campaign, Storming the Citadel. Tonight we're doing Scenario 3 from the campaign. It's called Panzer Marsh. Now this game represents the start of the German offensive as the Panzers roll forward into the forward Soviet security outpost in the village of Butovo. The village has been turned into a strong point by the Russians, which, if held, will slow down the German attack. Time is vital for both sides. So this one's using Scenario 3 from the rulebook, Attack and Defend. Russians will be defending Butovo on this side. Germans will be attacking from this side. The objective, the attackers must force the enemy to withdraw, either by reducing them to zero force morale, or having them withdraw voluntarily from the table. But I also must keep, the Germans must also keep their force morale at three or greater. So, uh, as far as uh, forces go, Soviets are going to be rolling in with 1d6 plus 5 support. They can take no preliminary bombardment. They may only take entrenchments. They cannot take mines, wire, or roadblocks. Uh, they did not win Scenario 1, so they get no free bombardment. And they did not win Scenario 2, so they may not deploy two free minefields. Germans are going to be rolling in with 1d6 plus 10 support which will probably be the most support I've ever had in a game. Um, if the Germans win Scenario 1, they will have a pre free preliminary bombardment. So I get a free uh, pr preliminary bombardment on this one, which will be cool. So the Soviets will deploy four patrol markers within 18 inches of their own table edge and 12 inches of at least one other patrol marker. And the Germans will come in on a single point on this edge with four patrol markers. Germans also get uh, some free moves. I believe I get a free free move as well for winning scenario two. Yeah, so Germans get 1d6 uh, free moves plus one for winning scenario two. So that could be quite a bit of free moves. I could be up to the edge of the village maybe, but who knows. It's, we're going to be starting out close together, so I'm not probably going to be able to move too far. So just to recap the previous two games, uh, Lieutenant Theo Weber, uh, platoon leader, second platoon, he cleared the uh, outpost and he cleared the minefield, and he lost two men in the process. Uh, Lieutenant Alexander Kustinov, the Russian leader, he lost uh, eight men total, three dead in the first battle, five dead in the second battle. But all the this is technically the second day now, July fifth, on battle three. So all the men that we're going to return the next day are now back. So Kusinov will be down a total of eight men. Terrain-wise, basically everything on this table is soft cover. All the buildings are wood, all the fences are wood. And the fields are nothing, they're just there for looks. No impediment to movement whatsoever. Uh, the well, even though it looks like hard cover, it's also just a piece of scenery, so it's not going to provide any hard cover. And as you see, the German side is very open, except for this little piece of rough ground here, which will provide soft cover should you be in it and stationary. So that'll do it for the intro. We'll look at the forces. Here we have the German platoon, led by young Lieutenant Walden Schmidt, who's been aggressively lobbying Hauptmann Schwartz, the company commander, for the honor to lead the attack on Butovo, which he was granted. So the platoon consists of Schmidt with his MP40 and three identical squads. Squad leader with MP40, two four-man LMG teams with three crew and one rifleman. Uh, German special rules, they get to roll for Force Morales Elite, so it gives them plus two on their roll. You can also convert any single six rolled on the command dice into a chain of command point. And they can also use one of four extra command dice on any phase and can only use each one one time, obviously. So those are the German special rules in the German platoon. Now we will go take a look at uh, Lieutenant Kustinov's platoon. Here we have Lieutenant Kustinov's platoon. He's down eight men. So Andre took, uh, basically took a whole squad out and added the machine gun to this squad here. So now he's got three dual machine gun squads. 
and one of them has five riflemen instead of four. And he took his, one of the junior leaders was actually going to be a rookie junior leader because he lost one killed in mission two. So he would have been down to one command initiative at three inch. So he just took him out as one of the eight. So uh, that's what's left of Lieutenant Gustinov's platoon. All right, so those are the forces. Um, we've rolled for our force morale, which I got an 11, Andre got a 9, and we've also rolled for our support. I get D6 plus uh, 10, so I rolled a 4, so I got 14 total, and Andre gets D6 plus 5, he rolled a 5, so he's up to 10. So we both decided on our uh, support, and then we're, gonna do, we're going to go over our plans. So I'll go first, the Germans. Um, my plan is to go up this edge. I'm going to have to use this. This is the only real cover that I have on my side. So some of my support options I brought. Uh, I brought a uh, 251.9 half track. I brought the Flak 38. I brought a senior leader and an MG42. And that equals 14 support points. So I wouldn't mind to get the MG42 and the Flak both in the soft cover. Flax got a gun shield, so he'd be in hard cover in here. And then just advance with troops up to the fence line. And then just start picking on squads, try to break his force morale. The half track, um, I'm not sure. That's, I'm pretty sure that Andre's going to bring his this 3 AT gun. So I'm going to have to kind of hold the uh, half track back. Hopefully he'll deploy his AT gun uh, before me so I can counter deploy against it. So we'll see how the uh, uh, patrol phase goes. I'm starting over here, which means Andre will start over there. And I need to get at least, at least up to here to be able to put a jump off point in here. I could actually place it right here as well. So this is kind of what I'm shooting for. And then I'll, the rest of them will just be along the edge. If I'm lucky, if I'm real lucky, I can get one on that edge, but unlikely, but who knows. So anyway, that's the German plan as I whisper, because I think Andre's right outside. All right. So the Russian plan, well, looking at what my uh, strengths and weaknesses are, um, Really, this is kind of coming down to the uh, 10 uh, points I've got to spend on additional units and uh, how our deployment comes out. So we've got a lot of open ground, but a bit of cover. It's all soft cover, however. So, um, looking at uh, Travis's options, I'm pretty sure he's going to be bringing some uh, heavy armor, possibly a... Uh, uh, half track and uh, quite possibly that uh, um, auto cannon. So, what I'm expecting is that he's gonna possibly be sitting back in entrenchments trying to blast away at me, which um, is gonna be tough to deal with. The layout of the board, we've got kind of a longitudinal cover behind buildings this way so if I'm able to deploy back in here and here that'll give me blocking line of sight from large portions of the board allowing me to converge fire on units that are in specific parts of the board same thing possibly back here looking out this way into that soft cover over there um, that said, a lot of this is going to depend on how our deployment works out um, and uh, where the uh, jump off points wind up. So what I'm taking is going to be the uh, uh, 46 uh, millimeter and the uh, 76 millimeter uh, cannons to uh, try and take out his uh, larger pieces and hopefully um, drop down his uh, morale rating a bit um, by hitting those uh, larger units and taking those out potentially. 
Um, I'm taking uh, three entrenchments, one for uh, each of the guns, and then I had one point only to get an entrenchment for these guys. So I'm going to have three entrenchments I can place, which um, those will be uh, vital in the strategic maintaining lines of sight and limiting fire uh, from Travis while allowing me to concentrate my fire on some of his units. So the only way I see really getting through this is by being able to concentrate fire and uh, you know crippling out and wiping out uh, some of his units with concentrated fire and still being able to spread the fire amongst my units. Um, my guess is I'm going to probably wind up doing most of my deployment in this area here um, it, to utilize or maximize the uh, line of sight blocking terrain um, as much as possible and to uh, get my entrenchments uh, positioned such that I've got uh, my best lines of sight. So that's, uh, that's the plan. It's kind of vague going to depend a lot on the uh, jump off points but we'll uh, really it's just coming down to uh, trying to concentrate fire um, and uh, uh, you know eliminate uh, units um, systematically we'll see what happens so we both got our plans uh, together theoretically <laughs> and then uh, now we're going to start the patrol phase so I'm going to see how many free moves I get d6 plus one so five free moves ouch complete. So I wound up with all of my jump off points over here in the soft cover. And then Andre wound up with one there on the edge and one back here behind the barn and one inside that building there. So I was able with those moves I got all the way up here and my free move moved up here and locked Andre down immediately and then he was just left with two to maneuver with and then he just ended the patrol phase so I was kind of thinking about maybe trying to do an end around but there was no way no it uh, I was actually afraid you were um, gonna be coming up this way farther but yeah you could, I did start I made sure I started yeah. close enough here so you couldn't actually end sweep right. me yeah because your 12 inches ended like over here so I could have got one over here but yeah, well, actually, and luckily I idea. had that much foresight because if I had started here, the way I was spread out and by locking that, you probably could have come all the <laughs> way around before I could have dealt Into with the village. you. That would have been pretty wild. Yeah. All right, so that's it. So we're ready to start. Germans will get the first phase. And I will not use one of my dice yet. Let's see how this goes first. Or should I? Hmm. <laughs> that wouldn't... You know, I'm going to do it, because that will give me more chances to get more stuff on. Look at you trying <laughs> Four to bring fives. stuff on. <laughs> wow. Don't you get something special on your fives? No, that's a uh, single six I get something. So after all that, I wound up with a four and a one. Well, I mean, yeah, I like the chain of command a, dice. <laughs> almost a full chain of command dice. That would have been cool if it was sixes. And that would have been the uh, random event. Yep. But anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm not bringing anything in. So. Okay. I've learned not to just bring in a unit. I need to bring in multiple units. So. Okay. So I got my dice. Here we go. And. Woohoo! I also am working on a chain of command <laughs> die. But you can actually bring stuff. One, in. two, three, four. With uh, three. He brought in a 45 millimeter AT gun, junior leader, and six. Five crew, put him on Overwatch. And the other three he brought in his big squad, which is just one extra <laughs> rifle. <in. laughs> but it differentiates it, so it's. Uh, and then he brought them in there and put them on Overwatch. So now I will roll again. Oh man, that was a waste of a uh, the extra dice last time. I'm tempted to use. I'm going to use one again. Uh, another chain of command. Two chain of command dice because the six. 
Man, I still didn't get crap. It. Yeah, but I still can't bring well, anything. We can bring in both your, sen your senior leaders. That's true. And a junior leader. Or a, and a squad. All right, so with the four, I brought in uh, the lieutenant. With the one, I brought in one of my support points, which is MG42, which I actually need to grab a couple more crew guys for. And then with the two, I brought in a squad. So I'm going to start shooting. I'm going to open up on the uh, squad there with this squad here. So I get uh, 18 shots. Needing fives and sixes. There we go. Bless these dice. Dice God. Ooh, he didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Taking Don't his name in vain. <laughs> yeah. Only uh, five hits. So five hits on soft cover and the dudes there behind the fence. I will, uh, I'm going to put them all on this squad. Okay, and not, the, not on the junior leader or senior leader? What senior leader? Not, <laughs> <laughs> not on the uh, jump off point. Give me some sixes. Hmm, there's one. So a shock and a shock and kill. A yep. So, are you gonna do any of your overwatches now? Or are you gonna wait? Um. I oh so. <laughs> oh jeez, it is your leader. Ah. All right. Let's see what happens to him. What are you doing? I'm trying to throw the mosquito into the spider web. Oh. Um, <laughs> I want to kill something. <laughs> okay. Unconscious. All right, and then uh, roll for a bad thing. Oh, minus two. The worst possible outcome. But at least you didn't lose a man killed. <laughs> So here we are where, after the first roll, my best decision would be to just leave the table. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll let Andre collect himself. So he's not going to spring his overwatch yet. He's going to wait for my MG42 to fire. So I'm going to use my senior leader to do machine gewehr on the machine gun team, so I'll give him an extra shot. Or... I'm sorry, three extra shots. I was kind of hoping he would have sprung it, then I would have targeted his gun. But, I got to pour back onto that squad. See if I can get them on the ropes. Uh, two, You're saying that like you don't already four. have them on the ropes. Four hits. All you got to do is... Some more pins. Well, actually, I guess he hasn't lost a no, point not, yet. Not yet. He's not almost dead. Um, so, I'm sorry, what was that? Three or four? Four hits. Four hits. I'm going to put them all on the same squad. Good idea. Oh, you saved them all. Mm. I'm rolling like a Travis now. Okay, so you get to do your... Let's get your dice for your Overwatch together. Messed up. All right, so he's firing first with that squad with 17 shots on which... Machine gun. Doing? On the MG42. Dice flying all over the place. Dice, dice, baby. Oh man, that's a lot of hits. <laughs> dice, dice, Holy baby. Crap. You pissed us off, Travis. Apparently. Wow. That is a lot. That man. is one hell of a roll. Eleven. That might be it for the machine gun team. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Actually, I can split them up, can I? You can. All right, so uh, I'll do six on the machine gun. And then five on the... Actually, I can split them up even more than that. I got multiple teams over here. So do three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Start off over here. Two, three, shock. Blue team. Three, shock. And orange team here, or green team. Three shock. shock. That's a lot of shock dealt He takes out. three shock before he takes three <laughs> shock, and then he takes three more. I didn't lose anyone, though. You did not. But I have a lot of shock all of a sudden built up. Yes, you do. 
And you're not even done shooting yet. No, I am not. So go ahead and do your gun. Okay, so that was HE6? No. Hold on a second. Four. Four. It's HE4. For the little 45 mil gun. Who are you targeting? Uh, the uh, machine gun. Machine gun again. Alright, let's do this. So two hits. Reduce cover by one. So one on the machine gun. One dead. And one on the blue team. Another shock. So these guys are almost pinned already. So I lost a man from the machine gun team there. All right. Well, that was a good round of shooting for you. Jeez. It put me back in the game. Eleven cause... hits out of seventeen dice, needing fives. Yeah, without a junior leader, which I mean, getting these guys activated is going to be a pain in the butt now. Well, you're gonna, yeah, yeah. Put your senior leader over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's just move that was it. not part of the plan. So yeah. I need a decent <laughs> roll here. The plan changes. That looks like a decent roll. Yeah. I need some of that, man. I rolled too much stuff. All right. Or too many fives is I rolled. You don't hear that very often, but I've rolled six. I got a full chain of command dice in my second phase. <laughs> second phase? Yeah, because that's your. That was oh, that second. was your second. Yeah, because yeah, your fruit. Okay, yeah. The four he brought in Kustinov. And with three, he brought in the Zis three. So he's got two nine tank guns back here. Another two, he brought in this uh, squad. And these both have uh, sandbags. So that's all of his support. The Zis three, the 45 mil, and three emplacements. And then with the other two, he's going to fire that squad. So hopefully we'll rain down enough terror to actually end this because... Uh, end it? What are you talking about, man? I still got tons of stuff off the board. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, let's clear the board and let you start uh, clean. How's that? All right. So, yeah, go for it. So he's going to fire here. Let me... I'm going to interrupt you. I'm going to use my already chain of command guys. <laughs> And I'm going to shoot back, so he's going to start off there. I'm going to shoot back with the uh, this whole squad. Can I shoot the whole squad? I guess I could, huh? Not just team. I'm I giving the squad the order to fire. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, minus 2, 3. So 15 shots. I need to work that squad over. Uh, to, nah, I'm not rolling very, <laughs> very hot tonight. <laughs> all right, you used it all up by the last week. So four hits on you. I'm going to spread them out amongst Good. all the different players here. All right, all on the machine guns. Ooh, Ooh. There's a dead guy and a shock. All right, see if it's your leader. <laughs> so I've used my chain of command dice. It's not his leader. Can you imagine? Imagine that. Uh, All right. <laughs> without a big stretch, I can imagine that. <laughs> All right, so you got down a man, and you're down another shot because of the two shock, right? So you're down to 15 dice. Just don't roll so many sixes this time, Andre. Or okay, fives. I'll just roll fives. Uh, not as many, but still pretty damn good. Oh, hell. And who were you targeting? I'm sorry. Machine gun. Okay, so, so how many did you get? Six. Oh, found another one, seven. So just two, and then the third one will go on the machine gun. Oh man, so that's, that's one dead and a shock. They pinned? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, actually, one, two, yeah, they're four, so no, they're not quite pinned. Two on the blue team, another dead guy, and then two on this far team here. Whew, another dead, dead guy. So that's three dead, all within him. So I gotta roll to see if it's the leader. It is the leader. Actually, how would I do that? Because I got a separate team here, and then this squad. I so guess how many leaders have you got in there? I got two. I got a junior leader, and my senior leader. So is it just a high roll though, or are you wondering about something else? Yeah, I was wondering how the kill from here would work, because he's not really attached to that leader, he's only attached to this leader. So really, the only kill from him would only affect him. 
Okay. But technically, he's not even attached to them. He's attached to them. But he's within four. So. So he is attached just because he's within four. All right. So he just loses a command initiative. Okay. And then, uh, bad thing, probably senior leader wounded is a minus one. All right. <laughs> Down to ten. So I guess I won't lose a man out of the machine gun team. Okay. But, so these two squads, do I have to roll it again? I guess so. So it's not the leader. So these guys just lose a guy each. But these guys take another shock. And that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, that was only one round of shooting. So nobody's <laughs> pinned out or anything yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Only one more one more shock and they're all pinned. <laughs> wow. So these guys are pretty much toast over here. Man, they're getting all those chain of command points at the beginning. That I should have never brought them in. I should have just waited till I could bring my whole platoon in. <laughs> I told myself after the last two games that that's what I would do, but I had to get something on before you got everything on, but it didn't work out that way. <laughs> well, and honestly, I'm not sure how much more I would have brought on if you didn't bring anything either. But uh, I'll be fine with that. I'm going to fire these guys next. Okay. So that should be a full 17, right? Uh, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, this is the short squad, so just 16. 16, yeah. 16. 16, 16 shots. Targeting the machine gun. Machine gun. Roar. So, man, these guys are getting worked over. Actually, getting pinned here actually will help them quite a bit. <laughs> so, wait, for six. So, two on the machine gun, two on this team, two on this team. So, they, they are now pinned, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> Praying to pin. Dead, dead in a shock. And then over here, a shock. So I think these guys definitely are pinned now. Especially uh, five. Lose another dude. Five. Check the leader. Nope. So remove a crew member. And yeah, they're shot. They're pinned. Both of these teams are pinned, and the machine gun as well. Oh man, Andre, what's going on here? Uh, change of fortune. The way this started, I was seriously thinking I just needed to <laughs> pull off before it got ugly, but this yeah. is what I thought was going to happen that the last time when idea. you started strong. I knew I had the upper hand statistically, I just needed to roll some dice and it it didn't happen, but uh, now it's happening. Well, it ain't over yet. Okay, so you got some pin markers out there. Yep. So everybody's pinned. pinned, so it's like hitting in hard cover now, right? Well, no. Because your HE drops the cover by one. Hmm. So they'll be back in soft cover. So the question though, I guess, is do I want to keep hitting them or do I just want to go on Overwatch? Hmm. I'll let you decide. So the last two things he could do, he has placed both AT guns on Overwatch. So now I roll again. You know, I'm not going to roll one of these this time. I mean, it, it didn't help me at all. So I'm going to save those for later because I might need them. <laughs> what the hell, man? Four more. I've gotten ten chain of command points in three phases. <laughs> uh, Look, I've got a... You got another die. No, I've got four, four of them. You could end the turn right now. I could. No, I can't. I don't have a full chain of command. So I got oh. a three. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna take the. He's down one command initiative, so he's just gonna take a shock off. This is the first time this has ever happened like this. That's for sure. It's like in too many chain of command points. <laughs> that's. Uh, I mean. That's too bad. I've racked up too many and had, you know, full chain of command dice that I never used, but that was <laughs> after, you know, 30 phases. <laughs> yes, yeah, not three. All right. Here we go. The Russians again. The Russians are coming. The Russians are coming. Okay, well, that's 
something at least. That's uh, actually not too good for you. Um, I don't think, but we'll see what you can do with it. Okay, so with the two, he's going to fire that squad Six, back 12. at uh, these dudes who are now pinned. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. I think these guys might have broke already. Really? They got nine shock. Six guys. Seven guys. Seven. Yeah, they're done. What? Well, uh, they broke. No, no, it's twice as many. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Come on, come on. Pull yourself together, man. Maybe I want to rate. I, <laughs> <laughs> I need to make room for my next squad. <laughs> 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 no, I, you put your next squad in behind them so they can break through them. Ah, yeah. That would be that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a lot of fun. Okay. It's a hell of a strategy though if you can make it make it happen. It's hard to do, but when it does happen, it's a it's a thing of beauty. It's a thing. So we got here. We got seven, two, four, six, and I'll just put the other one on here. So machine gun. Woo. Nothing. Oh boy. You. Here comes my saves. Nothing. That's not a shot. Hard. Uh, hard oh, cover. oh. They're pinned. Oh, there's a dead. And that's it. So see if it's the leader. It uh, is. See which one it is. Oh, it's my senior leader again. Oh, he's killed. Ouch. Poor uh, Lieutenant Schmidt. Wow. 20 years old. His first battle. He's been wiped out. Bad thing. That's wild. Five on the bad thing. Man. Um, minus. Senior leader killed five minus two. So I'm down to eight. <laughs> <sighs> it's not going well, but. It's, it's not. You're still beating me on force morale, but well, that, got, was, that was fairly big. I got a few tricks up my sleeve still, if I can ever get anything on the table. <laughs> um... All right, so uh, infantry over here. Okay. They should be at 16. Okay. So. I know I can win this. <laughs> I think I can, I think no, I can. I will. Unless you have a magical tank hidden somewhere. Holy cow. I don't okay. need a magical tank. I just need everybody to, uh, <laughs> I just need to get you down to what, three? Uh, three below three. Six, eight. So, two, two, one. Another dead, and a machine gun, and a shock. So I think these guys definitely are breaking now. Nope, actually it's double, you're right. Still not. Blue team, another dead. And then uh, this team over here. Nothing. So leader, <laughs> so he's the leader again. <laughs> and he's oh, he just loses a command. But he had one, so he's killed. Cause he only had one left. Wow. So it's a firing squad over here. Uh, killed junior, junior leader. Junior leader killed. Minus two. All right. So I'm down to six. Wow. Did you get your extra shock from the blue team? Uh no. So they got 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, they're broke, both of these teams broke actually, which is fine with me. Uh, so let's see how far they break. So that's 12, and then this squad, so 13. Probably takes them off the board, I'm sure. So, yep, so 12 is off the board and 13 is off the board. All right then, that's two teams broken. So let's roll, so support team. Support team. Routes. Routes. A four. Is minus one. And then the squad. Let's section. Section breaks. Breaks, yes. Uh, three. Minus two. So I'm down three more. I'm down to three already, but I hate to do this to you, Andre, but I have an armored vehicle. I can just bring them in out of the line of sight of your guns and just blast away your infantry. <laughs> okay. Because we said that I could bring a, a tank all the way up to here. 
technically I can bring them in anywhere on my edge, but we've always had a house rule that they have to be kind of in the vicinity of a jump off point. Well, I believe I do get one shot at him. Oh yeah? So, I mean, I got uh, these guys on overwatch. Right, but if I come in right here... Um, so... You can't shoot through your gun. Yeah, I can bring him right here. So you can't quite get to me. <laughs> and you can't hurt me with anything else. So technically all I gotta do is drive over here, take them out, take them out, take the guys in the barn out. So it's just a matter of whether I can hide from you quickly enough. And if I can even get a three to bring them in. <laughs> Considering all I've got is fives for most of this game so far. So what kind of mobility do I have on these guns? Um, none. <laughs> They got that, wheels and five man crews. I can't move them at all. Uh, maybe that one. But this guy, where's he gonna go? He can't get over the sandbags. He can't back out of there. He's kind of stuck in Cut there. Cut the trees down. Shoot them down. So, anyway, uh, obviously you're done because there's no targets left, right? Well, I. And, uh. Oh, so. <laughs> Those guys never even got to shoot. Uh, they didn't. So now it's my time. Yep. So here we go. I'm rolling. Give me a three. I need a three for this vehicle I have. All right, there we go. <laughs> Look yeah. at all the threes. You know, that would have been a nice roll about four phases ago. So I do have the 251.9, and I will bring them in. And I will bring them in right here, out of line of sight of you. So, I will shoot at that squad back there. Okay. And this this weapon is a six HE six. So that's three hits, and it reduces cover, so you're in the open. Okay. So six hits. Yep. So yeah, I've lost a full squad of dudes. And my poor senior leader, Mr. Hothead uh, Badass, didn't survive his first battle. So two dead and four shock. <laughs> Holy crap. The 251 Yeah, uh, open. Yeah, I don't either. Um, so two dead. Two dead and four shock. Yeah. And I still have some stuff here. Of course, if I bring them in, they're going to be brought in. So I'm not bringing anything else in. I'm just going to keep the gun out. Force Andre to withdraw from the table because of poor placement for the AT guns. Um, actually, it wasn't so much poor placement as I just thought we had uh, agreed to here. I oh, thought I actually had... Well, uh, I said the edge of the building there. <laughs> <laughs> Even here, though, you couldn't shoot. Um... Because you can't shoot through your gun with the the back gun can't shoot through the front gun. No, I wasn't planning to shoot with the back gun. I was just looking at the, uh, and maybe I was thinking off the, uh, maybe I wasn't thinking from the breach. Yeah, the breach and that building. Actually, what probably touch. happened is when I wound up putting this in here, I wound up pushing him back about an inch farther than when I was looking at my placement. That's probably what happened. All right then, I'll put him back where he was though. So that's it for uh, my phase. That's gonna be my phase for the rest of the game. I do have another junior leader, uh, senior leader. That's why I was able to bring him in without rolling. Because one of my support points was another junior, uh, senior leader. So uh, you already alluded to that. Did I? Yeah. Early on, I said something in the plural, and you didn't object. Oh. <laughs> didn't catch that. Something about your senior leaders, and you said yes. <laughs> uh, well, I think it's pretty obvious. Okay. Right, let's see so, if can that'll something. do a bunch. We'll let him, uh, we'll let him run. Well, I'm thinking about abandoning that gun. What do you mean? I mean abandoning it. Just taking them out, running off the table on purpose? Taking these guys and running back into this building. I don't think you can do that. Why? 
because they're part of the gun. That's their weapon. If yeah. They're not on the weapon. They're not in the game. Okay, so they just uh, leave the uh, leave the field to play. Yeah, and it would be a support. It'd be a bad thing. Okay, I would say. Well, are you gonna try and bring them back in again? No, I want to. Oh, so. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If so you can do I that. can fire this guy. Either that or. How far can I uh, maneuver this guy, and yeah, what does that look like? I have no idea in either one of those questions. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Andre, you got to stop coming up with the crap that we've never done every game. Well, I don't know yeah, all you started it. <laughs> <laughs> try and bring on an invulnerable piece of equipment. I'm going to try and come up with a way to uh, it's not blow a hole in it. I mean, it is invulnerable if you can't shoot at it. It's so, only got armor, too. <laughs> um, so... Well, let's see if we can figure out if you can just... I don't think... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll look at <laughs> Those are my two... All right, so I think we've got it sorted out. The guns can move. Um, we decided not to let them pull out. We don't know. I don't know if they can do that or not. But it's better off this way anyway. I'd, I'd rather move it than yeah. pull out. Yeah, so the guns can move. Um, so he just dragged it back this direction. Uh, the forty-five. he actually couldn't shoot at the half-track because he couldn't get more than two inches from the barn and you can't shoot at a pastor friendly unit closer than two inches unless they're in hard cover but he was able to get from this building all the way into this building with with the squad that was in here so now he's free to fire at the half track so if he hits the half track it could be game over but if he doesn't i still got some life so he needs a nine because it's heavily obscured by the fence Oh, close. Plus one because I'm because deserve it. Plus one because the Russians need help. <laughs> help so he did us. miss. But I've only got like three command point, three dice because I'm down to three already. So yeah, I only get two. But I do have two of those extra dice left. And I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, those guys are these guys back. back. So and these guys are gonna just move nine that way. And I think that does it for your phase, right? Yeah. Okay. So everyone's trying to get the hell. Oh, and those guys moved. They got six shocks, so they. But they did make it quite three inches. Quite, <laughs> at least they, they got a pretty good bit. roll. <laughs> so I'm down to three. I can't lose any more. Uh, if I lose another force morale, that's over. All right. So I'm going to use one of these. I need a three at least to move that half track. Come on, fives. All right. So I did get a five. No. Actually, I didn't really want fives. So I got two threes and a four. You just need to roll four fours. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> All right, let me think what I'm going to do here. All right, so I moved the half track farther than I wanted to, actually. He moved 21 inches. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he was fast, so he actually moved like 14, but plus six more or something like that. So he, uh, yeah, he's way the hell up there, way farther than I wanted to. So, all right, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Well, I can make a four, a two, and a three. That's enough to pretty much do everything. Uh, pretty much. Stay off the windows. So they're back. Okay, so the guys in here just moved back from the edges, from the windows. Everyone moved. This squad moved, removed the shock. The gun swung around, he's covering this area. The other 45 just moved out of there and moved over there. And the other squad moved over to there. So everyone was able to move. So I think that's it. So now it's my turn and I'm gonna save my last one of these extra dice here. So I'm just rolling three still. All right. You got your three. Got my three. So I did not do anything with the half track. Um, he is just going to stay there. I did bring a section in though, with the three. So with machine gewehr um, and everyone shooting, I get well. I don't even know how many. It's a lot though, like 20. And the only target I have is that light AT gun. So here we go. Need to get some damage here. Three, 
for a little bit better. Seven hit more. Eight hits. Eight hits on the AT gun. And he's out of his hard cover now, so he's just he has the Walking gun shield. The breeze. No, he has a gun shield, so he's still light cover. So eight shots on me. Yep. Come on, give me something. Uh, one shock. No, I'm sorry. Two one one dead and three, three shock. shock. Okay, that'll work. Check and see if it's the leader, because there's a junior leader with them. Nope. So one dead and three shock. Alright, that'll that'll hurt him. Or that's I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take anything at this point. <laughs> So it is your phase. Alrighty. You still got your one chain of command points. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, but it's worked out for you. Well, look at look at me. I got more chain of command points in this than most every other game I've ever played. Oh hey, yay! I got two more. Woohoo! All right, and a worthless six, and a six. A four, and a three. All right. Two shock. Oh yeah. So, uh, senior leader. Put them on Overwatch. They came out trying to get to the sandbags, and then these guys just moved over here in preparation to jump over the fence. He is going to fire uh, that, but I might interrupt. We're gonna you. interrupt and blaze me, huh? Um, so I think you know I can't see on the screen on my camera. It's very small. I can't remember if I got my final chain of command point or not. I can't tell unless I hook up to my computer and look at it on the big screen. But Andre thinks I did, and I think I did. I can't remember. So we're just going to say he did. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm already getting my ass kicked, so. Uh, let's see here. Five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I'm going to do, before that AT gun fires, I'm going to interrupt and fire back at him. And that's 18 total shots. So hopefully I can uh, do some damage to him here. Uh, He's already got three shock. Uh, two shock. I took one off. Oh, that's right. You took one off. So, well, spread them out. I can deal with it. Six hits. Six. All right, boys. We need to pull it together here. Yeah, more shock. Pull it together. Whoa. We're toast. Two dead and two shot. Yeah, I think they're pinned. So you lost two. Actually, you lost one last time, didn't you? Didn't you roll? Yeah, and you rolled for your leader and it wasn't. So, and I lost two more. So roll and see if it's your leader again. Nope. But you do take uh, three shock. And you got three guys left? Uh, two guys left. No, you had a six man crew to start with. Oh, so I did take the one guy off. Oh, already. you did? Okay, okay. So, so you just take two. I do have three left. Okay, so you're not pinned yet. Um, so I don't, didn't I take three shock, right? Yeah, you took three shock. So oh, I'm at five did. shock. Yep, so you're, you are pinned. Yeah. So this is an interesting question is, what happens with HE when you're pinned? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Rules is written, yes, but <laughs> I must say, if there's you got, there's got to be something for pinned. And reading around in the forums and such, there's been I, I think that maybe we could say you get the same amount of he, but you only hit on sixes instead of four fives or sixes. Hmm. It's either that or reduce the he. Yeah. So what what would you rather do? Take two he at regular, or four he needing sixes? Well. I honestly think it should be similar to the uh, infantry in that you would reduce the amount of shots. Okay. Because but the sh what the shock is doing is it's reducing the uh, effective rate of fire. Okay. Not so the then, ability to hit. So, so you, we'll say you cut it in half. So, so you go to I get zero shots. Two. Well, you had four HE to start, right? So I got five. So okay. So pin. so I'm down to two. So I get one shot. You're down to, no, you start at four, you have that, so you're at two. And pinned, so. And pinned and five uh, shock. <laughs> so I'm halved, halved, and halved. All right, then. 
I'm lost. <laughs> well, just roll a uh, roll a dice then. Just one, fine. Because <laughs> I'm half for uh, um, being pinned, right? Right. And then I'm at minus two for having uh, five shock. All right. So which... one. We'll go with the one. And as, as uh, if it goes anything like it's gone the rest of the night, I'll probably. Take well, my head off my leader. This is my sni- I was gonna say <laughs> this is my sniper forty five. <laughs> yes. So forty five millimeter sniper gun. Ooh, got him! No. That's dead on a leader, isn't it? Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Instant death to the your way it's leader. been going tonight, yes. <laughs> Alright, uh, so now it's my turn. Um I'm quite sure you've done everything. <laughs> Alright, fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use my last dice here because I think it's coming to an end. So you used your. Uh, oh yeah, yes, I used that, that one away. <laughs> Woohoo! I did get a three, two threes. So I could do two things. So let me think about what I want to do. One, first three, I'm going to fire this squad back at his uh, 45 millimeter AT gun. I've also brought in my uh, flat gun, and they are going to fire on to this squad. Well, I don't want to declare yet. Let's just say, <laughs> let's start with the gun. If I can't take it out right now then I will use the flat gun to try to finish it off, but I should be able to break them if I can get a decent roll here. So full on, full boat here. Ah, dang, I can't pick these up. I need some smaller hands, or smaller <laughs> dice. <laughs> smaller dice. All right, here we go. So on the AT gun. About. Not bad. Uh, one I'll, more. I'll take it. So two, seven. four, six, seven. Let's break them. Actually, I could have just shot these this at them. <laughs> I still could. Actually, no, I can't because I brought them in. Shit. Oh well. I didn't think about that. So two dead, and two more shock. Yeah, they're broke. So roll a uh, bad thing. Or roll, you're gonna go off the table. Two. Uh, support. Routes. And the two is a minus one. So I'm just trying to get his his uh, force morale down closer to mine so that he will probably win this. But the more force of morale that he has, the more guys he's gonna get back. So it could wind up being I just lose a bunch of stuff. He gets all his guys back and we just start over again. <laughs> we do it again next game, but if I can get some kills on him, drop some morale, I could do something. So, so if I were to pull off right now, I would win. So I wouldn't get my guys back. No, because you lost. You have to win to be able to do that. Okay, I was going to uh, say that too would be too easy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, I take much. I'm going to pull back and just get everyone back. So I'm going to fire the AA gun at. The infantry squad here. So the 20 millimeter cannon does have a range, a long range, and a close range. It's kind of the only heavy weapon that in the game that does that. So only one hit. But you are in the open, so I should kill you. Even though you're here. shooting through sandbags and a fence. I'm shooting at them. Oh, I thought you were shooting from over here. Nope. Oh, from this Well, the one. sandbags don't really... They, you have to be okay. in it. Yeah. yeah, you got to be in it. So. No, I, I I was thinking you were shooting this way, and I'm thinking, uh, you're really not going to give me any cover for that? <laughs> Light <laughs> or, cover? It reduces cover, because it's HE. Mm. Okay. So this uh, should kill so your one. senior leader. Yeah. It should. Uh, just a shock. But it didn't. Did not kill your leader. So for a lucky roll. I've already lost two leaders, including... My poor lieutenant of third platoon. All right, so it's your go then. Yeah, that's it. That's all I can do. I had, uh, yep, two twos and two ones, which made two threes. So. No one's gotten a double phase yet. That nope. could really, that would really hurt at this point. Well, yeah. For both of us, either one of us. Yeah, <laughs> it would be a game changer, that's for sure. So you wound up with... Uh, no, well, you can do a four with that. A easily. four and four and a commanding anybody else I want to. This squad has moved up. They made it up to the sandbags. These guys made it partially over the wall. <laughs> Woohoo! And that's now it is my phase, and I'm out of 
extra dice, so I'm just rolling three. Hey, another chain of command and point. Nothing but threes. That's fine. Yeah, I, I can see use that. Threes. <laughs> <laughs> There's really only one thing I can do here, and that's all these guys are going to shoot at those guys in the sandbag. So, the squad first. It's hard cover versus soft cover. But we saw how that worked out last time. I think that was just a fluke, though. <laughs> <laughs> so six hits on them. Oh, I can I can move stuff around now. So three and three. Uh, well, yeah, I, I can't. See. Oh, because I can't. You can't see it. So right. so everything has to go on the squad. I can't see the gun, so you can't. You can't. Put you can't. It on okay. I can't see the gun from where I am here now. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'll I'll, I'll deal with that. Can I pull out? <laughs> <laughs> or, all right. The the uh, you're, you're asking me. <laughs> the oh man, I missed one. The Flak 38. There we Ouch. go. Ouch. Five hits. And this will actually drop your cover by one because it's a... So can weapon. this... So can I split this one? Uh, <laughs> uh, I can see this guy. That's it. Then I will say no. Okay. Um, so seven? I think it was... I only got six shots. I think it was five. Okay. I, one. I got seven dice in my hand. <laughs> You're asking me to remember things here, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> too much whiskey. Johnny oh, Walker. Wait. I'm the one drinking Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, Johnny Walker has come into the nerd cave here, so. Hey, two dead. Ah! And a shock. Check your leader. Please be the leader. Oh, let's see which one it is. Little junior leader. See what happens to him. So he just loses a. But you do roll a bad thing, which is pretty much all I'm after at this point. Probably nothing. Oh, uh, probably minus one. Junior leader wounded. What'd you roll? Two. Ah, it's a zero. Damn. Sweet. So it was a. He's minus one in his command initiative. Right. Well, that didn't do anything. So you lost one guy and took a wound to the junior. Probably the best possible thing that could have happened to you right there. That was. Uh... Yeah. So the last two games it went all my way. This time it's going all your way. I have a feeling like we're going to be fighting this one again. <sighs> it's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, it's your go. Because that was all I had. I only had the three dice, so... But I did get the two threes, so... I needed to get one more of those damn force... Or, uh... Force morales down. Okay. So I got, a A three and a four. So 15 shots coming from that squad back onto. What are you targeting? Um, I'm thinking, does it really matter? Uh, I think he's four inches more probably from him. So if you target him, I don't think I could spread it to there. Yeah, I'm short. So if you target him, it's going to go, everything's going to go on them. Okay, and if I target him, it'll just go on these two. If you target them, everyone, all of them will get to I'll just share in the these. fun. All right. So targeting the squad. Man, you got dice rolling everywhere, Andre. Yeah, look at those ones, twos, and threes. There we go. Now you're rolling. Those are the rolls I like, which probably kill my leader. <laughs> all right, so this squad. The shock. This uh, team here. Uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> this is kind of a you death called trap. It. You called it. No. Oh. So I just lost a guy. Alright. I'll just take uh, the crew one of the crewmen out. Oh my dead pile is gigantic. This squad's this platoon is hurting. Alright. What else you got? So Um I haven't moved these guys yet, have I? Not yet. So can I just leave the guys that couldn't make it over the fence? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you had two teams, you could probably you could split them. But um, I I just want to run everybody, and if they make it over, they make it over. <laughs> Sadly, no. 
All right, so they're all going to make it this time. Is that it for you? Um, quite possibly. Am I staying in soft cover? Yeah, here? if you're behind the fence, yeah. Okay, just making sure. Give me my three command dice. Alright, is that it? Um, that was, you still got a squad in that building, don't you? No, oh no, they came out. That's they're right. They're over here. Squad here. Oh, you got this squad back here. And those guys back there. Yep. So um, yeah, I'm done. Right. Okay. So come on, give me some threes. <laughs> Tell you, two a chain of command three. points. <laughs> At least I got something like six. You keep getting a three, though. Yeah, that's that's annoying. That's amazing. Wait, didn't these guys take a shock? I think they did put one on there for him. All right, well, I'm going to fire back on that squad again. Okay. Uh, this time with all my dice. I'm going to pick them all up. Maybe I should target those guys in the... You know, I'm going to target so the guys. So it's not all your dice because I killed a guy. Great. So you killed one guy, so I'll take one out. Okay. Actually, no, you killed one of the crewmen for the machine gun. Oh. So... I'm actually going to target these guys in the soft cover. Okay. Because it's the same thing. I need still need vibes, so I might as well shoot at them in soft cover. So what did I get here? Two, four, six. Now I'm rolling more normal than I was last game. <laughs> actually, last game it was the saves I was making like crazy. The saves were, uh, you just wiped me out with the saves last game. So you lost a man and took three shock. So see if it's your leader. Nope. So just one dead and a shock. Or three shock? Three shock, you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Russian phase. No double phase. Man, this whole time you've only got four of those. I've already gone through like two, <laughs> two or three sets of those things. Yeah, well, you should get twice as many as me. I did. Uh, <laughs> three times. And then some. Okay. So you can still do everything again. All right. So 15 shots coming from the squad in the same areas again. Now we're getting back to it. I think. I think. I was well, getting a good roll again. It wasn't as bad as. Uh, yeah, that's a good roll. Nine? Nine. Well, that's a lot. So four, five, six, seven, five, yeah, that's nine, right? So yep. these guys here, come on, we need some good saves. So a shock. That was a good save. Yeah, I need another one of those. Or a bunch of sixes. So one dead and three shock. Let's see if it's the leader. It is not. I do lose another guy. Uh, um, Alright, so it's my phase. Oh, I'm sorry, those guys are going to move. Yeah, I forgot about that. So I'm going to bring the machine guns Which, up. Which, you know, it doesn't really matter because I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to pull out. Okay. Uh, once you get that other squad up online, it's going to be back to, uh, it's the same, yeah. Anyway, we'll wrap it up and then we'll talk about it. But yeah, I'm going to pull out, so there's no point in moving. Okay. I'm just going to withdraw and go lick my wounds and come back and try again. All right, so we've done all the bookkeeping part of it. So, start with the Germans. Lieutenant Walden Schmidt killed in action. Uh, July 5th, 1943. <laughs> uh, young hothead. Hitler youth went through military academies his whole life, dreamed of this day when he could lead men into combat, and immediately was killed. So he is dead, plus one of the squad leaders in his platoon was killed. So the third platoon will be a new uh, noob uh, senior leader, which I need to roll for that, see what kind of senior leader it is. 
And then a junior leader was killed in action, so there'll be a newbie uh, junior leader as well. Uh, third platoon is minus three on the men's opinion. They lost a lot of dudes. Um, how many did I say? Two. Oh, I lost uh, six dead, and three will return the next day, which is until battle seven. So they're down nine dudes, uh, third platoon already. And the CO's opinion has dropped to minus two, obviously. They didn't win. They, he didn't get the objective. <laughs> so there's not, nothing much to be happy about. Uh, Lieutenant Kustinov, on the other hand, uh, he had lost, what, six? Five? Uh, five. But he had a force morale. He was three up on me in force morale. No. Yeah. So then you should have had two, not three. Right? That's what I kept saying. Oh, I'm sorry. So two. So up the. So. Two of you to just miss one guy for next game. So you're actually down to ten. No, nine. So it was a good battle for Kustinov. Uh, he really only lost one guy wounded who will be back the next game. So pretty much a total failure. I didn't inflict any casualties. I didn't take the town. Um, one guy out of the platoon isn't going to do it. Um, so it's... Uh, We'll just recap here for me. Obviously, the problem, my problem was I couldn't get anything on the board. I kept rolling all those fives, man. <laughs> and so I brought in two guys, which is a mistake. I should have just not brought anything in until I could bring everyone. Well, you were also, you were worried about me having everybody sitting there entrenched on Overwatch when you finally did bring something. Yeah, but... <laughs> It didn't matter well, if I brought one. I mean, it would have been better to bring all of them than one. Even if you were in training. Well, you did get two uh, teams on. I had a machine gun and a squad, which yeah. got obliterated. And then... Uh, well, it did, and that took uh, three or four phases, though. Or nah. three. Well, the act did go to pretty quick. Yeah, I was getting nothing but fives. Uh, I Yeah. So anyway, lesson learned... I should have learned. I actually learned this lesson last game, and I didn't apply it. I felt invincible. I got grenadiers with machine guns. What? Who's going to do anything? But it doesn't matter. If you bring them in a squad with a machine gun against a full platoon of Russians with 10 support, yeah, well, not a good idea. <laughs> well, after your first roll, though, I wasn't convinced um, that I shouldn't be uh, pulling out with because you took out my uh, junior leader over on the side of the board where I didn't want to have any additional reinforcements and I definitely didn't want my senior leader. So yeah. you really effectively destroyed that uh, unit except I kept rolling twos when I needed them and you weren't able to put enough shock on them to, till uh, later in the game which did remove them from combat. Yeah. Well, you, my plan, well, we'll see if you remember your plan, but my plan, I kind of, I got half of it. I was going to occupy this, but I wanted to move up to the fence. Uh-huh. I didn't do any moving, obviously. But I could have had a, uh, I wanted to get a jump off point over here, and I could have, but I screwed it up. I should have moved one of them over here. Then between the, whatever two patrol markers are closest, I could have had a jump off point here, and I could have been over here. Yeah. That was the other half of my plan, which I just... Totally screwed that up big time. Well, <laughs> so I uh, was pretty uh, close. I figured you would probably try and come in from this side and try and get to uh, over into here. Yeah. So my plan was whichever side you did take off from was to try and bring my uh, infantry machine guns in alongside the buildings and have my guns back far enough so that I could catch you coming across the open. But my plan changed as soon as you just had those two units there. And it was like, you know, I might be able to fire, get enough, pour down enough uh, pain on you. Yeah. Indeed. So I actually deployed up farther than I was planning to, um, just cause, so I could see your jump off points, which I was, a, I was planning to, you know, be back and just catch you as you tried to cross the no man's land. But... Uh, we never got that far. No, no, we didn't. But, well, I lost leaders. I mean, my force morale dropped so fast. I was at three in a heartbeat before yeah. I even knew what happened. And then 
once that happens, I just got lucky to roll the threes to keep firing. But I, I mean, I could have just left these guys off and just still <laughs> just tried to play you Mickey Mouse done with cat this thing. And mouse with this. Yeah, it, I mean, I could have maybe won the game with this, but it would take all night. <laughs> well, it, it was definitely a possibility. It, all it was going to take was one good lucky shot for either one of us to really but turn it. I had to take out that forty-five millimeter gun. So I had to bring something in to take that out. And giving me a, a second soft target was... And it gave you another target, exactly. But the good news was I was so... And this is a good place to use the word discombobulated. <laughs> um, to try and get that one shot, I was so out of position. It took me, what, three phases to get back over to where I could shoot again? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and if I had some firepower on the board, I could have taken advantage of that, but uh, I'm bringing them in piecemeal, which that's rule no-no number one. <laughs> Don't put a squad or a squad in a team on the board by themselves in wide open view of everything. So next game, though, I'm not going to roll eight fives in the first two phases. <laughs> next game, I'm going to come in. I mean... I might bring the uh, the big boy himself, the tiger tank, next time. I need some. I need to take this village. I can't miss. If I lose another game on this one, I'm pretty much done. So it's going to be all hands on deck, fresh platoon. I might even bring uh, Weber back with his plus one support to give me just more firepower. So. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, that's it. Yeah. So who's an off? Uh, held the village. Russians are, or uh, Germans are licking their wounds and c contemplating how to take Butovo. So we'll be back uh, next time for Butovo Part 2. A postscript. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I completely forgot about the preliminary bombardment, which could have delayed. Yeah. Totally anyway. huge. Cause... So next time, we, when we play this next time, I'm going to do the. I didn't use it this time, so I'm going to use it on the next game. So, yeah, that could have been, obviously... <laughs> oh, because my uh, second phase, um, I brought in everybody, and that's yeah. when I rained down uh, terror on you. Man, I so, cannot believe yeah. I forgot that. That was uh, that uh, was a big deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that could have been the entire game. So, anyway, I just wanted to clear that up, because <laughs> it was completely idiotic. <laughs> And uh, I know that some people watching this might be like, you forgot the double fit or the, what the hell is it called? <laughs> Pre-game barrage. And I did. So I'm sorry, but we will use it next time and we will be bringing a new platoon.